All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I want to talk to you guys about upgrading from AM4 to AM5, um, along with the uh, the 4080 Super and the 7900 XT, for that matter of fact. Now, as you guys know, I am I literally refuse to get in line when it comes to the whole PC stuff, and there's a reason for that. I think that the PC community out there is just way too conditioned and. Man, I've, I've always been that go against the grain kind of guy, freaking learn on my own, learn things, figure things out, and try to understand things the best I can. Me, I'm a visual learner, dude. I, I can sit here and read things all day long on how to try to do things, and and it just doesn't make any freaking sense to me sometimes. Like, it just, it just plays over and over into my head. Um, so, here's the thing, guys. I upgraded from AM4 to AM5. I freaking love this platform. I think it's awesome. Um, it's been very stable, at least for me, for the most part. Um, I did run into some issues with the 4080 Super. Obviously, there's something you know going on with the little beta app thing that kind of like cuts down your performance, and it kind of, in a way, it kind of like neuters your card a little bit. So, so I mean, it's not like a super, like super, but I, I kind of felt like it was. Um, like it was literally holding that card back in 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 a lot of ways. Like the 4080 Super is a pretty potent card. Like it does a pretty dang good job. Uh, when I'm trying to play games at 4K, it usually does pretty pretty good. Over 60 frames a second. You know um, the. Um, 7900 XT is pretty much in that same ballpark. Uh, e either way, if I use DLSS or FSR, I can usually push these cards into playable territory at 4K, no problem. Uh, my main thing is 1440p though, and that's where the 7800X3D kind of comes in because it because it really does kind of add more stability overall uh, due to being able to run the GPUs at, a, at, a, at, a, um, at, at higher utilization, giving me better 1% lows. That is something that, that, you know, like the other day I said, you know, you don't really know how much it affects you until you actually feel it. Um, something like 1% lows is something that you kind of have to feel to understand. Now, if you're playing a game, like take this for instance, say, say you go out and you buy a game, um, and, and you've got like your, you know, say say you've got your 7900 XT or your 4080 Super, you're running it on like a 5600X, obviously you can still get pretty decent, good, you know, 4K gaming on that, but but say say you want to do 1440p, and you're looking at it, and you're like, you're like, what are you talking about, man? I, I've got, I've got amazing frames, dude, I got, I got 89 frames at 1440p, and I'm at max settings, and, and, and I'm feeling it, and then... So, so is where, how the one percent lows, and I had to figure this out myself, guys. I had to figure this out, like I had to see it in action because, like I said, I've come from console gaming. I have a really high tolerance for when I'm running and the game freezes, and when I'm playing and doing stuff like that, or when the frame rate's kind of fluctuating a lot. I, I have a pretty high tolerance for that. And so with my 5900X, by no means was that a bad is that a bad CPU. If you have a 5900X, like you have a good experience. Um, but the way the way that I can kind of because you can feel it. Like obviously you've got a higher frame rate. You're, you're sitting there, you got your frame counter on. It's in the 70s, 80s, whatever. Every once in a while you'll feel like a little dip, and it'll just be like a little blip in the freaking game, and you're like, eh, nothing, nothing worrying about that. Well, here's the thing with the one percent lows, at least in, from what I can feel after upgrading to a 79 or 7800X3D, is that level is a lot higher, and so it tends to make the game overall feel smoother. Now there'll be some games where I'll be sitting there and I'll be panning the camera. Obviously I play a lot of open world games, so I'm panning the camera a lot. And I'll be sitting there and I'll be panning the camera and every once in a while you'll see the kind of camera, you know, like it'll jerk or stop or or whatever. And and, and, and that was the case, you know. Um, I can definitely tell with a 50, with the 7800X3D that that has gotten definitely better. Um, uh, overall it feels a lot smoother, I'm getting um, in, in 1440p, I'm sustaining much higher frame rates, um, and, and they're feeling, they're feeling higher. So you can actually, this, 
it's a it's a thing that you can actually feel like by no means is the 5900x bad and 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 by all means is it is it bottlenecked in in every game like you you know what i mean like there's some some games that it absolutely just runs phenomenally but then there's some obviously that are higher cpu level like like dragon's dogma 2 i've noticed an immediate um actually you know like a, a higher sustained frame rate even while i'm in like vernworth i'll be running around in there and and now i'm hovering over over 60 frames a second on both the 7900 xt and 4080 super and and i'm and i'm sustaining a much higher frame rate in there while at the same time when it does drop into like the 40s it isn't as much and it isn't as often as it used to be and and that goes for out in the open world as well when i'm out in the open world i'm sustaining you know a much higher frame rate the the overall gameplay feels smoother it feels more fluid the overall camera the way the way things are um the way things are going and this this did affect both 7900 xt gameplay as well as 4080 super gameplay um and before that obviously i was trying to run it on like a 7800 xt a 40 uh, 4070 super i do kind of feel if if i was having the same kind of a limited experience that i'm getting now on the, that i was getting on the 4080 super with the with the nvidia app um installed i i i, I kind of feel like maybe that 4070 super would have been a, a lot better or or at least significantly better <clears throat> and and i stayed up kind of late last night guys i watched one of daniel owens videos and i and i was and i was like okay i'm gonna see what frame rates he's getting and then I'm going to go on to mine and I'm going to try these games and see, you know, what kind of frame rate I'm getting. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to the exact same frame rate that he's getting across games like Alan Wake 2, Cyberpunk, um, you know, Lords of the Fallen, all of these other games. Like I'm sustaining the same FPS that he's getting. So I kind of just feel like maybe it was you know, due to the fact that that um that, that the beta app was 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 causing my uh, my my 4080 to not run at its peak, um, and I did find out another problem. Like setting on on afterburner, setting it past 100 100 um 100 percent power, um, I was starting to get some game crashing when when I would have it at 125 because it was like really pushing it or something. So I did notice that <clears throat> a couple of games would would crash on me. So I set that back down, and and that 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 problem went away immediately so I, I don't know guys like I kind of feel like if you if you want that <clears throat> that overall system stability and to be able to to like really you know kind of kind of just you know lift up the base or the foundation of your PC by moving over to the AM5 platform um, and getting yourself an X3D chip. Like I do, I do, I do like these chips. At first I was like, mm, I don't know if it's really going to be worth it. But then when I think about it, when I sat back and I thought about it, I was like, all right, I'm doing a whole platform change. I'm going with newer technology in the, in the, in the, uh, in the CPU. Um, there, there's obviously a benefit for utilizing an X3D chip, so I want to try it. And for the most part, I'm I'm actually pretty surprised with the uh, with the overall uptick that that I'm getting from this. Now, I kind of feel like I, I wish that I would have tried the 5800X3D. I, I kind of wish I would have would have done that. But now that I look back in hindsight, I'm getting pretty much double the uh, double the double the megahertz on my on my memory. Obviously, you know, going from like 3,200 or 3,600 up to 6,000, you know, mega transfers on your on your um, on your on your RAM. That's definitely good. That actually speeds up the pr platform, speeds up the process. Definitely a lot better. I feel like. I feel like I don't feel like my, my my PC is constrained for resources like like it used to. You know, it never really got bogged down too much with a 5900X, and that's the thing, man. That's that's the one thing that kind of makes it a little bit um, a little bit like, oh boy. I mean, if you've got a 5900X, I don't know if you would appreciate the the overall uptick in 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 uh in in performance and stuff that you get from a 7800 x 3d because obviously your frame rates all of my frame rates at 1440p were, were definitely good playing games at 4k was definitely good i mean i do notice less of a 
you know, less instability overall, for sure. I do. I, I definitely notice that. And that is very, very good because you can actually feel that. But other than that, like everything I was playing before was playable. Like it was playable. I was having fun. I was having a good time. Um, I, I was still absolutely blown away thinking like, yeah, this is the best thing I've ever seen is play PC. And you know what I mean? So, so yeah, obviously it was good. But at the same time, guys, I don't know if if I could recommend you going out of your way. Like if you have the money and like you're 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 thinking about it, you're just on the fence, you're like, oh, I don't know if I should do it or or should I do it? You know, a lot of people will tell you to wait. I'm I'm in the camp that like I'm I'm in the camp that's like if you want it, go buy it, dude. Like who cares what other people think? Honestly, if you want to upgrade your platform to AM5 and and have like a, a good build you know i mean if the the biggest thing because i think the biggest thing most people are worried about is stability honestly stability and and i'm actually pretty happy with the overall stability that the am5 platform has delivered and i've and i've been playing with it for about what five six days now i i, I built it and i've been playing with it I, I spent three freaking days this weekend i had three days off so i literally sat here playing with this thing all weekend and you know the biggest thing you know i, I didn't catch it till later but yeah the whole the whole nvidia um beta app like it i wouldn't use it for right now i mean especially if you're if you're really wanting to see what your 4080 super can do it it, it does better with just the regular settings i i've noticed that it, it is a lot more stable with just the regular you know geforce now app and 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 your uh, and nvidia control panel so probably just use that for right now unless you absolutely want to use it um go ahead but just just be warned that you're going to lose like some performance or or it's going to be a little bit buggy and stuff in, in certain ways. But overall, yeah, I, I, I just wouldn't recommend that. Um, it really did kind of, you know, make me feel like my, my 4080 Super wasn't performing um, much better than... It, it made me feel like I'm like, dude, I'm like showing people. I'm like, look, man, my 7900 XT is a good card. And people were like looking at me all weird like, dude, what are you talking about? And, and I'm... And I'm like, dude, <laughs> you know, like I always have these issues when it comes to NVIDIA. Obviously, there's much more like the stars have got to line up just right for it to work when AMD is the most is, is probably the absolute freaking best when it comes to user experience. It's absolutely incredible, especially for new people like me. AMD is awesome. Everything's right there and it's really easy to use. Man, you need a you need a degree to, to, to use NVIDIA, but that's never stopped me before. I'm gonna keep playing with it. I'm gonna keep driving through it like a dump truck and we're gonna figure this out. So, all right, my friends. Yes, I, I'm, I'm happy with my upgrade. I definitely feel good about it. I, I'm glad that I did it, to be completely honest with you. Um, now that I got the whole NVIDIA thing fixed, yeah, it, it's back to smooth sailing. So I'll get you guys more content. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole bunch of benchmarks just because like I said at the beginning of this video, dude, I'm 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 against the grain like all the time. And I know that sucks. And you guys are probably like, dude, these guys just a retard. He doesn't even want to listen. It's not that I don't want to listen. It's not that I don't want to listen. It's just that there's so much freaking nonsense when it comes to PC stuff out there. And people's just, you, you know, dude, honestly, guys, and this is my honest feeling. If I could literally get on YouTube and just watch like good, calm content that's like, hey man, this is uh, this product and this is what it does, I would be I would be all for that. But you have everyone that is on YouTube that is literally going out of their way to trash one product, to hold up another product, to to sprinkle in you know all their doubts and their disbelief and their freaking I, I i don't i don't care much for the cynicism when it comes to any of this like i don't care i just want to know what product i'm buying and if and if the the, the features on there are going to be are going to make me happy I, the reason i stuck with the b650 is because dude i could put three ssds in there and it i'm already used to the system so i was like okay yeah that that sounds like a very good upgrade path for me perfect I get to use the features that I want to use. And and like everything that I tried to listen to about it, it was just, oh man, this board ain't worth it, or this or that, or just all this negative crap when it comes to PC stuff. And then everybody <clears throat> just spouts the same thing. There's never nothing new or original or anything like that. It's always just like, yeah, this is this. It's, it's like, <clears throat> 
It's like a lot of the information out there is like outdated, man. It's like 20 years old. Like nobody even goes out of their way to try to figure anything else out anymore. They're just like, oh, I remember this one time back in 1974 that, yeah, when I had both drivers, <clears throat> both GPU drivers on there, it, it, it kind of caused like some instability in my system. But once I got rid of one of them and... <clears throat> <clears throat> and re-download Windows and blah, blah, blah. Then everything worked fine again. So, man, Windows is much better than that. And I want to be able to have faith in Windows. And I, all I ever hear is people just bashing it, knocking it, kicking it. And, and I'm like, Windows has always been good for me. Like, I've, I've never went, had any, any major issues with Windows. So, I mean people have these like they have these axes to grind with all these companies and it's like dude like can we can we can we just like assess the problems and stuff it's like i know that if we have a problem like if i have a problem on my motherboard or something like that and i make a video and i just sit and trash it and bash it then yeah people are gonna go yeah man see i remember this one time and and i don't want to do that like obviously i don't want to do that so yeah it, it's so easy to, to get caught up in all the nonsense on youtube man and i'm trying really hard not to be that kind of channel so yes let's um <laughs> I, I, I want to be positive. I want to try to give you guys good information. Um, I'm very happy with the mag board. I didn't have any problems with my mag 550. Um, I didn't have any problems with my with my 5900X. Didn't have any problems with my memory Corsair. <clears throat> so I went pretty much with the same the same thing over again, and and it feels pretty consistent. I did not re re uh, reinstall Windows. I let Windows you know up, upgrade it for me, and it seems to be working very very good. I made sure that the that the new drivers for my new CPU are there. I I, I made sure that I only have you know one freaking you know one driver for my freaking um, my GPUs on there. I've only got Nvidia drivers on there. I don't have any AMD drivers. It's only Nvidia. So yeah, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.